And let's inhale the arms up. Pulling the breath up through the body. Clearing away all thought, anything that will not serve your practice tonight. Bring the hands back to the center, set an intention for the class, perhaps a balance, strength, and flexibility. We're going to step our feet out wide, sideways on our mats. Turn our toes out, bend the knees. Send the arms to the sky. Let's bring the arms down, bend the elbows, and stretch some moon flowers, lifting. And lowering nice wide stance, moving at your open knees. Breathing into the muscles of the back. Just feel how low you can get into the pose and then how high you can lift your body up, elevating the ribcage. Forget to smile. Let's find sun pose, turning the palms open, just welcoming in the gift of our yoga fit practice tonight. Some of you have been welcoming in this gift for 25 years. And we're moving through some sunflowers, creating the shape of the sun with the hands as we gently lift them up. Slowing the breath down, slow your movements down. So we're just warming up right now. Bring the hands back to heart center. Step back to mountain pose. Inhale the arms up. And we're going to exhale into a very easy chair pose, holding here for 10 deep breaths, pulling the belly in. Another modification of chair pose, bending the elbows, relaxing the shoulders away from the ears again. We've got five deep breaths here. Let's inhale the arms back up. Exhale, full chair pose. Five deep breaths. Inhale back up, slight back bend. And then exhale into extended chair if you can. Reaching the arms forward, pulling the tailbone back. Now moving through chair flow, any variation of chair at your own pace. Please close your eyes and just move with the breath. We 
Take a moment to scan your body. Notice how your body feels tonight. Breathe into any areas that feel tight or imbalanced. Let's all, all hold any variation of our chair pose for 10 deep breaths here, placing the weight on the heels, the balls of the feet. Getting a little bit lower. And let's inhale the arms back up. Exhale, swan dive forward, bending the elbows, bending the knees. Let's grab onto the elbows, put a micro bend in your knees, shake out the head and neck. We're holding, this is the last one that's coming in the waiting room now. If this was a class, I think the door would be locked at this point. If you'd like to turn this into a chest expansion, go ahead and do that. down, let the upper body shake out a little bit. We're going to walk our way into a downward facing dog position. Let's bicycle the legs a few times. And spreading the fingers nice and wide. Release a deep sigh, sound or scream, let your day go. And we're taking the right leg to the sky, drawing it all the way up, squeezing that right glute. We're releasing switching sides. Hold down dog for five deep breaths. Directing the breath from the base of the spine to the crown of the head. Reflecting for a moment on what your yoga fit practice means to you. Underneath the hips, let's move into cat pose. And with a deep breath, moving from cat to cow, articulating the spine in both directions, creating a C shape. Pop a 
the feet are on the floor where shoelaces would be if we were wearing shoes. Find an even deeper, more aggressive breath. Find some inspiration through your breath. And if you find tight spots in your back, breathe into them. Expand the tight spots. Track the areas of the body that may feel looser. And holding cow pose for five deep breaths. Let's start to move the heart center away from the midsection, the tailbone away from the navel center. All the back bending you didn't get to do today, you'll be able to do tonight. And with a neutral spine now, moving into spinal balance, let's take the left foot back, flex that left foot, reach the right arm forward. We're holding here for 10 deep breaths, using our glutes and our core section muscles. Continue to strengthen through your left glute and pull through the right shoulder. We're going to release and switch sides. start to alternate opposite arm, opposite leg a few times as we continue our warm up. Feeling strong in your body tonight. Finding a mantra to repeat. Perhaps it's something like, I am peaceful, I am strong, I am calm. going to find ourselves moving back to down dog. Let's take the right leg to the sky, take it off the left side of the mat, take your right arm up. Good, nice deep breathing. I'd like to hear everyone breathe. to release. Taking our right knee down, our right foot is off the mat. Our right hand is underneath our right shoulder. We're moving into modified side plank position. Opening through the heart center, taking five deep breaths. Back muscles are strong, front of the body is opening up. Let's bring that left knee in, bring the elbow to meet the knee, and then extend out 10 times. At 
your own pace. Let the breath power your practice tonight. And come up for kneeling triangle, planting the left foot, extending the arms out, and then reaching for your left shin knee or ankle. Five deep breaths here. Your right glute is engaged. Your hips are pressing forward. You're protecting your low back. Notice if you can get a little taller in this pose. And let's go ahead and release, switch sides. Left knee down, left hand down, right arm and right leg lift up. We've got 10 deep breaths here. Heart center is opening. Find an even deeper breath. Stay connected to your breathing pattern. Let's come up for kneeling triangle. And your left glute tight, your left chest opening. So find some space where you think you can't find space. back to either modified or full side angle pose. Drop a knee if you need to. Got another side to do. Same thing, modified or full side angle pose.
Let's release back to downward facing dog. Moving into plank or modified plank position. Let's exhale down to crocodile or modified crocodile. Inhale into up dog, cobra, or baby cobra. So remember your glutes are tight, your heart center opening, the breath is too tight. And we're going to stretch back to child's pose. Take three deep breaths. Let's come back to down dog. Moving into plank, down, up into upward facing dog, cobra, back to down dog or chest pose. We've got five, maybe ten minutes, warming up the upper body. Feeling strong in your practice tonight. Our downward facing down. We're walking our feet up about halfway on our knees. Putting a nice micro bend in the knees, chest extension. We've got five deep breaths here. Using the exhale to sink in a little bit deeper into the hamstrings. Face and toes are relaxed. An incredibly deep breath wrapping around your body. Bend the right knee, look over the left shoulder. And switch sides as you're ready. Then we're releasing the hands down, letting the upper body shake out a little bit. Really letting everything go with a deep breath. Let's bend our knees deeply. Inhale, draw the arms to the sky. Exhale, swan dive forward, bending the elbows, bending the knees. Repeating this five to ten times. Inhaling up, exhale back down. Find the flow, find the breath. On each exhale, again, let go of anything that is not serving your practice tonight. Let's 
Let's bring the hands back to heart center. Take a nice wide stance on your mats. We're going to turn the left toes out, the right toes in. Finding warrior two position, otherwise known as the yoga fit pose. So we're gonna stay here for the rest of the class. Let's take the arm to the sky, sink a little bit lower. We're going to find modified or full side angle pose. And relax the toes, relax the face, smile, your body loves us. And we're turning this into a twisty and left, bringing the right fingertips down, coming off the right toes, taking the left arm to the side. Five deep breaths here. Bring both hands down, relax the head and neck. And then turning that back plus plus, we're finding warrior one. Bring hands back to heart center. Turning both toes out, we're bending the knees, we're dropping in here, closing the eyes, finding a place of peace and calm. Establishing a stronger connection with the earth. Straighten the legs. Right toes turn out, left toes turn in, warrior two. Draw the muscles of the back together, back and down. And let's reverse that one. Keep sinking lower, even though your front leg wants to straighten, don't let it. Left leg is strong and active. And we're finding ourselves in modified or full side angle pose. Let's find a deeper connection with the breath. Moving into twisting lunge. Let's bring the hands down, turn the back foot flat, find warrior one. And bringing the hands back to midsection, turning both toes out, micro bend in the knees this time. Let's find a wide stance chest expansion. We've got 10 deep breaths here. If you've got tight hamstrings, go ahead and bend your knees a little.
let's come up for our first official back bend of the class. Reach back, grab your glutes, lift out of the low back. If you're feeling super flexible, you can start to walk your hands down the back of the legs. Lifting up as we hinge at the hips, going halfway down for airplane pose. We're bringing our left fingertips to the floor in front of our nose, taking the right arm to the sky. We're pulling our hips to the wall behind us. Let's release the switch sides. And let's come back up. It's time for a triangle series, turning the left toes out, the right toes in, extending the arms reaching into any variation of triangle that suits your individual body tonight. Let's bring the hands down on either side of that left foot. If you need to step your feet closer together, go ahead and do that for twisting triangle. Taking the left arm to the sky. Releasing, coming back around. Once again, we bend the knees, we bring the hands to the heart center and we pray that we continue to keep our bodies in good shape physically and that we keep our minds flexible and nimble and that we stay connected to our own energetic pattern as well as universal consciousness. Let's sink a little bit lower, really ground yourself with that intention. So when your legs start shaking and you may be sweating, you're grounding yourself into a deeper place of self and a deeper place within the universe. And you feel strong enough in your physical body to support yourself through this process and practice. <laughs> Good, let's straighten the legs, turn the right toes out, the left toes in. Moving into any variation of triangle pose. And releasing into a twisting triangle. You can step your feet closer together if you need to. And let's step the feet together, the center of our necks. We're in a forward fold. 
We're going to take the right leg to the sky for standing splits. Relax the head and neck. Relax the toes. You can turn your left toes out slightly as we bend both knees around our fingertips. Fingertips are close to that left foot. We're going to lift and lower the right leg a few times, bending and extending for some standing split leg lifts. Let's release, switch legs, left leg lifts to the sky. Dive in, relax the head and neck. And let's start to bend and extend. Plant the feet, inhale the arms to the sky. Once again, we're moving into the back bend of our choice. So you're keeping your glutes engaged to protect your lower lumbar spine. You're trusting yourself to open your body up. All the forward flexion we do all day long dissipates in this pose. Right now, feel it and breathe. Lift out of the low back, hinge at the hips. Exhale back into chest expansion. Release a sigh, a sound, a scream, a shout as loud as you can. Grab onto the elbows for a moment and just experience a moment of peace and calm. Let's inhale, look up into monkey pose. Exhale, walk, step, or jump back to plank position. Left lower down to crocodile once again. Inhale to up dog. Exhale, drop the knees, stretch back to child's pose. This may be good news. It may not be good news at all, but we're going to find ourselves in a seated position. So welcome back, welcome back to the earth. Let's find ourselves moving right into tabletop pose. Doing a little core work while we're here. Let's bring the ankles and knees together. Grab onto the back of the legs. Go about halfway back. And pull forward. Eyes are closed. It's all about your core right now. So we 
you're not really using your arms or your legs, you can place a hand in your midsection if you'd like. And we're just lifting and lowering, feeling our third chakra, feeling our power center, do all of the work that you're doing. Good, keep breathing and moving. Let's slide the legs out, draw the arms up, point the toes towards the sun, and exhale into seated forward fold. And just as the back bends open this up and heated us up, allow this pose to cool you down. We've got 10 deep breaths here. Once again, we find tabletop pose or incline plank if you'd like a little bit more work. Releasing into any boat pose variation that works for you tonight. You can keep a foot on the floor if you'd like. the right hand, extending the left leg down, doing a very simple spinal twist, but we're using some breath. Let's inhale, lift out of the low back, exhale, twist over the right shoulder. Keep moving into the twist with each deep breath. We're releasing and switching sides. Keep twisting through the midsection, breathing into the belly. Let's take that left knee with us as we lie down. Good news is we're getting closer to final relaxation. Bring the knees into the chest. Give yourself a big hug for showing up tonight. Rolling from one side of the back to the other. Keep those shoulders away from the ears. Let's all find bridge pose. We've got 10 deep breaths here to roll to the outside of our shoulders, to walk the shoulders towards the feet, to press through the inner portion of the feet. 
Once again, to relax the face and the toes and to lift, lift, lift. Let the music guide you to places of love, delight, energy, expanding consciousness. Your sanctuary, your lotus. Release down. Visualize the hands behind the head. And with one foot on the floor or no feet on the floor, let's slowly bicycle the legs. So you're moving at half of half speed. You're focusing more on the rotation than the speed. Bringing the elbow towards the knee. Deep breath, may the petals open. And once again, we're bringing the knees back into the chest. Moving into dead bug pose, grabbing onto the toes, pulling the knees down towards the shoulders. The fast petal dream. Flush, tranquil, vibrational. And just point if you'd like to straighten your legs, so you can go ahead and do that. Let's move from here to upside down pigeon, bringing the left ankle across the right knee. Pushing that left knee away, pulling the right knee and rolling from one side of the back to the other gently. Shoulders relaxed away from the ears. Face is relaxed. Away from your heart. Making your exhalations twice as long as your inhalations now. release and switch sides. Notice which side of the body feels tighter tonight. Become one with all that exists. that right knee back into the chest, moving into spinal twist, bringing the right knee to the left side of the body. If you'd like a little bit of extra work, you can bend your left leg, grab your left foot with your right hand, look over your right shoulder. When you're ready, release and switch sides. You can release into reclining butterfly pose or the inversion of your choice. Now 
I see the hands across the midsection in a moment of surrender to the breath, to the sensations in the body, to the practice. From here, we are finding fish pose, sliding the hands underneath the glutes, extending the heart center towards the sky. Let's release it. Taking a moment to rest, to recalibrate, to breathe deeply and just to notice how you feel in your body. And let's take a couple of big circles, moving shoulder to opposite knee if we found our way back to a seated position. And giving ourselves a big hug for being together tonight and celebrating something very meaningful for me, I hope meaningful for you as well, as we celebrate Yoga Fit being a school for 26 years. And again, I know so many of you have been with us for such a long time. So I'm sending you all a big virtual hug. I would love it if you would like to unmute yourself and say hello. I will say to you at this moment, the physical portion of the class is completed. And namaste. Um, namaste. And I really hope to see you all at our Mind Body Fitness Conference in Palm Springs or the other four that we're having next year all around the country. Uh, we've got a couple of spaces left at our Evolution Transformational Weekend, October 27th through 29th in Fort Lauderdale. So if you're ready for a big shift and lots of movement, um, please join us. And also we are starting our Yoga Lean online weight loss and weight management group, focusing on the microbiome and biohacking that starts, I think October 15th. And we'll be having about four or five classes a week online with myself and Kim and Kelly. So um, thank you all so much for being a, such an important part of the journey so far, a journey that is not yet over. Uh, a journey that for me keeps getting deeper and I'm hoping that we all continue to just participate and join in what's coming next for Yoga Fit for, for the next 26 years. So again, if you'd like to unmute yourself and say hi, I see so many familiar faces and uh, namaste everyone. Thank you.
Namaste. You're awesome. Namaste. Thank you. Namaste. 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 Thank you. You're awesome, every one of you. Uh, thank, you. Yes. thank you. Thanks, Beb. Thank you. Thank you. Have a thank you so much. Beth, I want to see you in person. Well, you can see me in person anywhere that we have a live event. Well, I'm waiting for you to come back to the D.C., Virginia area. All right. We, we need to do that. Well, when you can, I might be older than dirt, but I'm going to be there. I know you will be. Thank, Thank you. you, Beth. I've been with you in my four-year journey with lung cancer, stage four lung cancer, and yoga has made such a difference. Oh. And this is a chance to practice with you once again. Thank you. Oh, so God. Thank you. And your singing dog. <laughs> <laughs> Beth, when I have been teaching virtually for the past three years, six classes a week, and all about a third of the ladies in the classes had either their dog or their cat with them doing yoga for the past three and a half years. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Me too. Oh, thank you. Good night, everybody. Good night. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're the best. Thank you. Thanks, thanks, Beth, for bringing yoga into my life. <laughs> thank you, Beth. Thank you, Sharon. You're the best. Thank you. Thank I you. agree. Thank you. Thank you. Take care, everyone. I hope to see you all in person because it's way better than being on a Zoom lens. Thank you for doing this. It's my pleasure. Please join our yoga lean group. Well, I'm nothing but bones. <laughs> I'm down to 90 pounds. <laughs> well, you better eat something then. <laughs> well, my students are always bringing me their homemade goodies to make me big. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank yeah. you, Beth. I met you in 2004 in Dallas for level one. Oh. 2004. And I want to see you again soon. Texas. I think we're coming to Texas next year. You're coming to Texas next year? I think so. We'll be in Texas. We'll be in Orlando. We'll be in Palm Springs, Scottsdale, and a couple of other places. So keep visiting the website. I will. I will. There's supposed to be a level two in San Antonio, but I don't know. I'm, I'm registered for it in October, but anyway, thank you so much. You have just inspired me so much because when I met you in 2004, I was so, 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 so sick and um, yoga actually, I don't know, it truly saved my life. So thank you so much. Thank you very much. It saves my life every day. <laughs> thank you. Thank Whoops. you. Where'd you go? I'll be the last to sign out because I'm going to, be with you as long as possible. <laughs> well, you're doing great, Paula. Oh, thank you, darling. Thank you. So good to see you. It's such a blessing. You, I, you don't know how excited I have been. My poor husband is sick of here listening to me. But when you come back where we can get to it, he'll take me there because I'm still doing my yoga. I've cut back. I'm not doing 18 classes a week. I'm only doing about 10 to 12 a week now. That's still very impressive. Well, you are my, um, you're who I look up to in the world of yoga. You are amazing. Thank you for what you have done for yoga and for those of us who absolutely knew nothing about it until I walked into a class where Myrtle was teaching, and I'm not going to say how many years ago with these new other ladies here. <laughs> it's been a long time, and it's been wonderful for this old lady. Well, you know, old is relative. Well, I thank God every day. He gives me another day, and I can go out and love his children, help them to feel their best, and that's my job. And you're quite an inspiration. Oh, thank you, Beth. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll hang up last. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right. Well, again, I hope to see you all live.
somewhere. We have a lot of events. We have two, well, one more this year and, and at least four or five next year where we're going to be live. So try and join us in person if you can. Thanks, everyone. Have a beautiful evening. Namaste. Namaste. Yeah. Yeah. Namaste. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.